It was a day filled with heartache as families whose homes were destroyed by the fire began sifting through the wreckage. 10 News Digital correspondent Kyle Majors reported on many homes burning over the last week. Today he had a chance to go back to one special Rancho Bernardo home. When flames caught the side of this home on Aguamiel Monday morning, fire crews knew there was nothing they could do. At that exact same moment, Patrick O'Sullivan, the home's owner, got a call from the security company. They called me and told me two smoke detectors and a heat detector had gone off, so I then knew that the fire was inside the house. Fire that moved quickly, spreading from chimney to entryway, through cedar shingles of the roof, and finally to the garage. In minutes, flames ravaged the home until burned out timbers could no longer stand. You know, we're just sifting through the ash trying to find uh, the smaller, more valuable pieces. That looks like a pearl, doesn't it? I need one sifter, a couple shovels. Phil Harris organized an army of volunteers to help neighbors comb through the rubble. When the need's there, the people come and um, and are just overwhelming in their generosity and support. Thank you, thank you so much. Look at you guys, you're all so dirty. While Patrick talks with insurance agents and looks for a new place to live, local high school students pull coins, dishes, and even a Christmas nativity scene from the ashes. They're beautiful people and we're, I don't know who they are. The O'Sullivans evacuated to their daughter's home in Riverside, so they missed the news coverage of their house burning. It's avaricious, it just wants to consume. Oh my God. Thank God nobody was in the... Wow. Watching his home burn, you can hear the pain oh, in Patrick's scary, yeah. voice as he reminds himself why he is thankful. We have ourselves, we have our love, and we pick up and go on, right? Uh, uh, thanks for showing this. I appreciate it. It's no problem. After I say my goodbyes, volunteers pull one last thing from the rubble. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Her mom's... Precious ring, that's that's her engagement ring. Of all of her mother's stuff, that one ring is the most important ring of all to her. Kyle Majors, 10 News. Oh, little bit of happiness among all that sadness. If you need any information about recovery efforts after the fires, head to 10news.com. We have a fire resources section with a lot of the information you need.